Hello my friends. My name is Bot Mathematician, and this is Hello Mansa. And of course Dora, the most daring reporter. We are infinitely grateful that we have another opportunity to see you all again. With the arrival of the Death Knight into the game, Hearthstone packs will change forever. In this video, we have prepared for you the most important facts that will help you prepare for all the innovations. The March of the Lich King set contains an unusually large number of cards. Instead of 135 cards, we will have to collect 145 cards. The number of legendary and epic cards has also increased from 25 to 27. This is not surprising, since the 11th new class of Hearthstone requires the appearance of an additional 10 class cards. Although, it is worth noting that the introduction of the Demon Hunter class did not affect the number of cards in the sets. Moreover, despite the increase in the number of legendary rarities, this did not affect the overall cost of the collection, as Team 5 proportionally reduced the number of epic cards. This time everything is different. Increasing the number of cards will make collecting a little more expensive. To complete the collection of March of the Lich King cards, you will need to open approximately 281 packs, provided that all extra copies and golden cards will be disenchanted. As a reminder, to get the full collection of murder at Castle Nathria, you had to open approximately 273 packs. Please note that these calculations do not include free cards as gifts and rewards on the track. Let's just say this is the required number of packs to get the full collection of the previous expansion that you might have missed. Thus, you will need to purchase 7 to 9 more packs and therefore spend $10 to $13 to meet the new circumstances. The cost has not increased that much, and the main reason for this lies in a completely new type of cards. Signature is a new cosmetic quality that cards can have like golden or diamond. Every expansion is going to have its own look and feel to the signature cards. For the first iteration in March of the Lich King, Blizzard chose an icy sepia style. Signature cards from future sets will look different from these ones, to evoke different tones and styles. An important feature of this type of card is the alternate art, which takes up more space on the map but unfortunately does not have any animation. Signature cards can't be crafted or disenchanted. They can only be opened in packs or earned through special means. They can be opened in standard packs, class packs, March of the Lich King packs, and new March of the Lich King signature golden packs. There are a total of 18 signature cards coming with the launch of March of the Lich King, including 3 rare cards and 15 legendary cards. 3 rare cards will be free as part of a special Death Knight launch event. 2 of the legendary cards will be available on the paid Tavern Pass, and the 13 remaining signature legendaries will be found in packs. Dear friends, before we continue we want to ask you for help. Please share with us your current rewards track level and percentage of completed gameplay achievements for murder in Castle Nathria in the comments below this video. This data is of great importance in determining the real involvement of players during the expansion phase. Thank you so much, and now let's move on to the next fact. Blizzard has revealed detailed drop rate data for all card types. In normal packs, the drop rate of a signature card is the same as that for golden legendary cards, meaning you will find a 1 card in 181 packs, on average. But it is worth noting that the drop rate of signature cards in golden packs is much higher. You will find on the average 1 card in 7 packs. Thus, to get the full collection of signature cards, you will need to purchase more than 90 golden packs for $300 plus tavern pass for $20 to get 2 more. Another new feature for packs is the re-roll system. A signature card version can drop of a card you already own. But when it does you'll get a pop-up that asks if you'd like to re-roll your existing normal or golden copy for free. Say yes, and it re-rolls to a different card of the same set, rarity, and quality, while respecting duplicate protection. This re-roll offer happens any time that you are awarded a non-disenchantable version of a card that you already have. These rules also apply to diamond cards. This means that the re-roll offer in some cases may appear after receiving rewards from reward tracks, or achieving certain achievements, purchasing bundles and, of course, after finding the signatures card in a pack. Once you own all signature legendary cards in a set, you will start receiving golden legendary cards in place of signature legendary cards. This means that once you own all signature cards, the drop rate for golden legendaries goes up. This fact makes obtaining a golden collection of cards much cheaper. To get the entire March of the Lich King golden collection, you will need to purchase 185 golden packs. It will only cost $620. Good offer, isn't it? Guys, why did Blizzard introduce signature cards into the game? We can't give a clear reason for this question Dora, but we have a theory. 
Most likely, the new type of cards is introduced to increase the value of golden packs. They also play an important compensatory role in regular packs, as they are an additional source of legendary cards. This allows you to partially balance the increase in the cost of the collection due to the increase in the number of cards in the new set. It is for this reason that the nominal value of the collection has increased by only $12. But the trick is that only players who open a very large number of packs or a few lucky ones can receive this partial compensation. For this reason, if you manage to find a signature card in one of the packs bought with gold, then you have definitely received the blessings of Yog Saren. Hearthstone has always been at its best in terms of design, but the introduction of signature cards is one of the most controversial visual decisions Blizzard has ever made. Firstly, the monochromatic color scheme and the lack of animation make these cosmetics extremely boring. They don't look premium or attractive enough to collect. The coolest thing is the alternate art, but in some cases it is done by a different artist or in a different visual style than the original which can lead to some confusion during the game. Alternative art inapplicable leads to comparison with the original. In this case, players will always like one of the visuals more than the other, especially if they are made in different styles. But the main disadvantage is the overall visual appearance of your collection. If you don't like the design of the new cards, you won't be able to get rid of them, as signature cards can't be turned to dust. In terms of design, your collection will not look uniform. If you are a collector, the same card can occupy 4 slots per page in the collection manager. Regular style, golden card, signature design and diamond version. 4 years ago, we came up with a very primitive concept, the implementation of which would allow players to combine all the visual views of a card into one stack and thus increase the usable space several times. Moreover, our idea was to allow the player to choose the visual style that would be displayed at the top of the slot. Unfortunately, in four years Blizzard did not find opportunities to improve the collection. The journalist of the site Hearthbone, Imic, proposed his own design for signature cards and our audience liked it more than the original. Team 5 designers are definitely capable of more impressive things. We expected that the increase in the number of cards would lead to an increase in free rewards on the track, but this did not happen. The track once again remained unchanged. Even though the paid tavern pass received two additional signature legendary cards, this had little effect on the value of this offer. These two additional items do not affect the cost of the March of the Lich King collection, as they are not cards from this expansion. Lord Marogur is a core card while Lady Death Whisper is a new miniset card. Thus, in the vast majority of cases, you will only get an alternate copy for a card you already own. Dear friends, please be careful, since some new offers may be misleading. In addition to the March of the Lich King set, for the first time we will have an additional mini set only for the new class, Path of Arthas. 26 cards can be purchased for $15 or 2000 gold. These new cards can't be opened from packs, they can only be purchased as part of the pre-purchase mega bundle, purchased as a standalone purchase, or crafted. This is a must-buy option if you have an interest in a new class. Here is one thought that came to our mind. What if Blizzard cancels a regular mini set, and instead sells us an extra set for the Death Knight class? This approach would not affect the cost of the game. But it looks like we were wrong about Blizzard's motives. In the game files, we managed to find an image for the upcoming mini set. As a rule, in each new expansion we get two diamond cards. You can get one card for purchasing the Tavern Pass for $20 and the second for getting 25 legendary cards of the same expansion. In Alterac Valley, another additional card was introduced. The Diamond Drekathar was up for sale for $25 or 3000 gold. Unlike any other expansion, March of the Lich King will feature a whopping total of 5 diamond legendaries. Grand Magister Ramath and Blood Matriarch Liadrin are the progression reward. Lady Death Whisper can be obtained as a bonus for purchasing the golden version of Path of Arthas for $70. This card will also be available as a separate purchase item. Two more diamond cards will be available for purchase during this expansion period. Get your wallets ready. The change in the number of legendary cards in the new set has affected the benefits of pre-orders. While the $50 pre-order hasn't changed, the percentage of the complete collection has gone down. At the same time, a more expensive pre-order has become the most profitable ever. By making this purchase you will receive the Death Knight mini set for free, so it will save you 2000 gold coins which is equivalent to an additional 20 packs of March of the Lich King. From this point of view, this offer will allow you to get more than 50% of the collection. In our opinion, signature cards have much less value than golden cards, which can be exchanged for useful cards of the same rarity. But this difference does not matter if your goal is to collect as many cards as possible. That's all the facts for today. 
Unfortunately, the appearance of the Death Knight in the game is an excuse for Blizzard to increase the cost of the Hearthstone collection. The increase in the number of legendary cards plus the paid mini set for the new class are additional sources of expense that will not be compensated for the vast majority of free to play players, which means they will be able to collect significantly fewer high rarity cards. For premium players, the cost of the collection will also increase, but not so much. We understand Blizzard's motives. Hearthstone is rapidly losing profits for this reason the company is trying to force players to buy. But such an approach can once again lead to the opposite effect. A reduction in profits in the long term. What do you think about this? Do upcoming innovations deserve a price increase? Share your opinion in the comments and also join our poll in the community tab. Finally, we would like to express our huge gratitude to our patrons. Dear friends, your support is incredibly important to us. Thanks to each of you for being with us today. We hope to be able to get in touch in the future. Take care of yourself. And never give up. Job's done.